Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. In this lesson, we're looking at Direct Poll. This is a lovely website that you can use in order to create little polls or questionnaires or surveys in your classroom and get the results directly. And the students can see the results as they enter in their opinions or answers on devices. So let's have a look at how we can create our poll. So we can go to this website. There's the link. I will put a, the link in the video description or you can just search for direct poll and it will be the first link at the top there. So they give you a video that explains how to do it. I'll try to do it here as well quickly. So we're just going to create our poll now quickly. So here we go. We've got our first question over here. So you can type in your question and we can give the different answers that are available here. So I'm going to go do that so long quickly. So I added a whole bunch of options there for this first question. You can hide the answers if you want to poll it. You don't have to do that. You can mark one correct if you've got a quiz and you want to say this is the correct answer. And you, it is definitely, it's not opinion based, but it's actually doing a quiz. You can do that and showing the results in percentages. You can specify that as well. I'm going to click on that particular option. You can also say if there is only one particular option to select on or if they can select multiple options, you can do that as well. So quite nice little features that we've got here. So I'm going to scroll down to the next question. I'm going to add a random one where we can do quiz. What is Mr. Long's favorite color? And then we can say red, blue, yellow, or green. And I'm going to mark the correct answer. And in this case, we're going to mark yellow as my correct answer because I like the color yellow. So there we go. So that you can see what it looks like. And you can keep adding questions as you go along. As you add a question, another one will appear at the bottom. And so you've got all these different questions that you can add. And then once you've done that, you can use this option as well. If you, you're going to get a link that you can send to your students to be able to do the, the poll. However, if you want to restrict it further, you can click on this option and you'll be emailed some little tokens, which you can then give to your students to make sure that they need the link as well as the token to be able to start the poll. I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to click on, I've read the terms and conditions. And once I've done that, it'll ask me for an email address so that I can get the details for my particular poll. And then save the poll and send me the links. So now that we've got that, so we can start it literally now if we wanted to, but most of the time you would have done your preparation before and then you need to start it at a later stage. So I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to just close that for now. You will also notice that I did not log in here. You don't need to log into this website. You don't need to give any details. You only need to give your email address, but you'll notice that this poll does expire in 29 days. So you've got that amount of time to be able to do the poll and to use it. After that, it'll, it'll expire and it'll be removed. So here are the links to the website. So we can go and get the different links for if they want to vote or see the results or if we want to run the particular poll so that's the if you're the teacher you want that's how you want to start it now if you want to get those links you can always say send me the link so you can click on that button just to make sure that they send you an email that you've got all those links so even if you lose this page at least you can get back to this particular page another way to access them is to go look at the links over there and it'll take you to that particular point now the look is what the look of the poll will look like if you want a particular style uh, that's, I like the black background with the the data so I like that particular one so that's basically the details I'm going to save this poll you can even go to the advanced links and get an actual link for each and every individual question even if you wanted to so there's the link for question one there's the link for question two and so on. so you can do individual links and there's a whole bunch of other options there as well so there are advanced links that you can get to but make sure that you get that email sent to you so that at least you can get that link if not to sure, you can always just copy this particular link make sure that you save that somewhere so that you you can come back to this and make changes and then run your particular poll we're going to run another video where we show you how to actually run a direct poll but this video is just how to set it up there are your questions i've got to get rid of these questions we don't need those ones there we go i've only got two questions and there we go i'm going to save my results and there we go now i'm ready to start my poll and the next video will show you how to do that make sure you don't miss out on the next video as well as other useful tips that can help you in the classroom click on that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we post a new video and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way